I actually had to face Jeff the killer himself once. So, it was something completely insane. In short, I was walking in a dark and deserted place, and suddenly I felt that I was being chased. But when I turned around, I saw him Jeff, standing in the shadows with his distorted face and crazy eyes. I tried to run away in every possible way, but he followed me like a tireless monster. My legs felt like cotton wool, and I almost lost my breath, but I still didn't give up. What could I do? I resorted to the last solution. I took my phone and started filming this nightmare on video. We ran through these gloomy streets, and I felt that he was getting closer and closer. I was afraid for my life, but I couldn't just drop my phone. I had to capture it on camera so that people would know the truth. Finally, I was able to get out of that terrifying situation, and Jeff disappeared into the darkness. Stunned by what I saw in the video, I realized that I had encountered the real Jeff the killer. But how did he get from his horror world to reality? Questions tormented my thoughts, and I decided to do further research. Over the next few weeks, I delved into the legend of Jeff the killer and his past. It turned out that he was an ordinary boy who was mutilated by bandits trying to kill his family. Jeff himself survived the attack, but as a result of severe injuries, his appearance changed, and he began to thirst for revenge. There were rumors all over the country about his senseless and bloody murders. People were scared, and Jeff turned into a terrifying symbol of fear and madness. He became a character of legends and creepypasta, and his story spread all over the internet, now I realize that I was faced with a living nightmare, revived from dark stories. Jeff was real, and his gaze pierced the soul. But what to do with this knowledge? I couldn't just ignore him. With the help of other researchers and connoisseurs of Creepypasta, I started collecting all available data about Jeff the Killer. Together we analyzed his methods, his habits, trying to find a weak spot. We studied his motives, his psychology hoping to find an answer to the question of how to defeat him or defend ourselves. Meanwhile, Jeff continued his bloody march. There were new victims, new horror stories. But now I was a persistent opponent, not ready to give up in front of this monster. I set myself the goal of stopping him and preventing more deaths. My research led me to a kind of hidden community of hunters of mystical creatures. Together with them, we exchanged information and developed strategies to capture Jeff. It was necessary to gather all possible forces to end this nightmare. So began our dangerous hunt for Jeff the Killer. We spent nights searching for clues, traces, any sign of his presence. Our investigation led us to the darkest corners of the city, where the victims of his murders often remained silent witnesses.